Hello, how are you doing? Have you seen how easy it is to implement a RAG-based LLM-driven system using a vector database? Well, if not, then watch along with me for the next few minutes and I'll quickly get you up to speed. Okay, let's get started. Let's quickly review embeddings. Embeddings are vector representations of data, in our case, text data, but it could be any data such as images, audio, or video. There are specialized LLMs, also known as embedding LLMs, that can take in data and generate embeddings. In this code example, I will use an OpenAI embedding LLM to create our embeddings. I save the embeddings in a Pinecone vector database. Quick note, I have a video that deep dives into creating embeddings using OpenAI and Pinecone. This video shows how I created and stored the same embeddings that are used in this video. Feel free to check this video out if you want to see more detail. But for now, I'm going to keep going. So now let me cover all the Python files that are included in this project. All the Python dependencies are listed in the README file checked in with the Python code in GitHub. The GitHub URL is in the YouTube description. At a high level, you have to download a Pinecone and multiple Langchain Python modules. I include two helper Python scripts for creating and deleting a Pinecone index. The first is a Python script I use to create the Pinecone index in the US East 1 region in AWS Cloud. I needed to run this script first, so I have an index in Pinecone available for this RAG example. Again, this is covered in detail in the video I just referenced. The second Python helper script is a pinecone delete index.py. This script can be used to delete the pinecone index. Both of these Python scripts were really helpful as I worked out this example, so I thought it'd be good if I included these scripts for you as well. I also included a third Python script. This is the Python script I used to create the same embeddings used in this video. This script stores the embeddings in the Pinecone index that I created earlier. The Python script essentially loads text files residing in the Coastal Marine Synopsis folder, creating embeddings for each file, and then inserts the embeddings along with the actual file text contents into the Pinecone vector database in the cloud. The five text files using this RAG example are shown here. They each have a marine forecast as of November 29th, 2024. Just so you can quickly see what text we're using in this example, I opened up the text file flowergardensanctuary.txt. This file contains a marine forecast for this part of the Gulf of Mexico on November 29th, 2024. The other text files cover the marine forecast for other parts of this large body of water. The Python script I really want to show you is Langchain RAG example.py. This is a script that demonstrates the RAG capabilities, which is the focus of this video. But before we look at this Python code, let me first quickly show you the system diagram for this example. In this RAG based system diagram, you will see the user sends a query to an LLM, but in addition, you'll see that a vector database containing the embeddings is integrated into this system. So let me step through the flow of a typical user query. First, the user sends a user prompt to the LLM. The user prompt is submitted to an embedding LLM, which generates a query embedding. The query embedding is nothing more than a vector representation of the text in the user prompt. The RAG system uses this query embedding to perform a similarity search on the vector database. Semantically similar documents are returned from the vector database and then paired back up with the original user prompt, and all of this is sent to the LLM. The LLM tokenizer converts both the user prompt as well as the semantically similar documents into tokens. The LLM uses both of these to generate a response. The response embedding from the LLM is converted to output tokens, and from there, the output tokens are converted back to a user response. With this example, you can see that RAG provides system builders 
with a powerful design pattern to augment LLMs by integrating relevant, up-to-date, or domain-specific knowledge from external data sources. In our example, if the user were to send queries to the LLM about the marine forecast in the Gulf of Mexico for that same day, there's no way the LLM would be able to answer that since the LLM was pre-trained before the information would have been available. But by using a RAG-based system design pattern, you can integrate these external data sources containing up-to-date data, enabling the LLM to get access to the data it needs to provide an accurate response, thus reducing hallucinations. Okay, so you've been super patient, so now let's look at the RAG code example. So in this Python script, you can see all the Python dependencies imported. The first thing I do is set the OpenAI API key with an environment variable configured with my downloaded OpenAI API key. Offline, I have set up environment variables on my Mac for both the OpenAI API key and the Pinecone API key. I include this information in the README file. Next, I initialize the Python embedding object with an OpenAI embedding model. I specify the model text embedding ADA002. I use this embedding model to create an embedding for the query. Again, this is the embedding I use to perform a similarity search for relevant documents against our Pinecone vector database. Next, I connect to the Pinecone index using Langchain's Pinecone wrapper. This Python Pinecone wrapper object allows me to interact with the Pinecone vector database in the cloud. I can perform similarity searches, vector upserts, et cetera, with this object. Then I instantiate a retriever. I will use this retriever object to perform the similarity search, which will return my top case similarity documents from the Pinecone database. For this example, I set top K to one. So the one most similar document will be returned. Next, I initialize a GPT-4 LLM client object. Quick note, earlier I instantiated an embedding LLM client object, and now I'm instantiating a GPT-4 LLM client object. Remember, the embedding LLM is just used to create the embedding on the user query. I want to emphasize this, embedding LLMs are special purpose LLMs built to create embeddings. The query embedding is used when I invoke the retriever object, which performs a similarity search, which then returns the most similar document. Alternatively, the GPT-4 LLM client object is used when we send over the user query to the LLM to get an answer. Moving on, I next instantiate a prompt template object. I use this to define my prompt, which will contain the user query when calling the LLM. After this, I instantiate my chain object. If the notation is confusing, just know that the pipe notation just means that the chain will first perform the prompt generation step, then invoke this GPT-4 LLM, and finally the results will be processed by the string output parser object. The LLM response contains the actual answer along with additional response metadata. And the string output parser object helps us by extracting the actual LLM answer from the GPT-4 LLM response. Now we define the query object. This contains a user query that we will submit to the GPT-4 LLM. You can see I'm asking the LLM for the marine forecast in the central bay of Campeche on the evening of November 29th, 2024. When we call this retriever object passing in the user query, the retriever object under the hood creates an embedding and uses this to perform a similarity search on Pinecone. The retriever object then returns the most semantically similar document it got from the Pinecone vector database. Then we take this return document and we put it into the Python context object. In our example, we just have top case set to one, so context will have just the contents of the one most similar document returned. Next, 
we invoke the chain passing our context and our query variables. The LM uses both the context, which should have the returned marine forecast for November 29th for the Bay of Campeche, and the user query to generate a response, which it then puts into the answer object. Okay, so after running this Python script, let's look at the results in the console. It produces the answer, the forecast in the central Bay of Campeche tonight, November 29th, 2024, is north to northeast winds, 10 to 15 knots, seas four to six feet. Now, if we go back and look at the original text document we inserted into the vector database, we see the winds are 10 to 15 knots and the seas are 46 feet on the night of November 29, 2024. Okay, so now you should see how easy it is to create a simple rag-based example using Python and Langchain. Using Langchain, it makes it easy to swap out other embedding models or vector databases. So this code example with minimal changes would work with other LLMs and other vector databases. Okay, thanks for watching. This video, along with all the other videos in this playlist, are listed in the YouTube description. I invite you to watch other videos on my channel. If you like the way I'm sharing this content, please consider subscribing. When you subscribe, this really helps my channel grow. One last thing, we all love technology and we're all excited about all the innovation with the cloud and machine learning AI. But don't forget to carve out some time to live in the real world. Go outside, go swimming, go hiking, go climbing, go surfing, get out and move your body. And if you do, let me know in the comments. I wanna hear about it. And with that, have a great day. Thanks.